So good evening, everyone. My name is Ashish Kare, and I'll be representing the team Valorant. So the use case which we built for this hackathon is brain stroke prediction. Now, given a brief introduction, this is a UI path process which takes certain parameters from a handwritten user form. Now these parameters are passed to an ML model, which is trained in the UI path AI center. Now that model predicts whether a person is vulnerable to a brain stroke or not, and accordingly sends his reports to his email. Now I would like Sakshi to take over the presentation. So to have a greater understanding of the use case title, let's see the case study. Overall, world we have approximately ten million people who they, who suffer from brain stroke, and only five million of them could survive. And probably after that also they have partial partial paralysis and many more things. Therefore, it's a meaningful to be pre uh, to predict the vulnerability and of the patients with acute stroke, as it might be quite helpful and useful uh, for the treatment and decision making, as well as management of the prognostic expectation. Moving on to the next slide, so the process overview. Here, the the basic uh, area we are targeting is the healthcare pharma, and the input data we are taking is the handwritten uh, handwritten health recovery forms with the uh, some parameters. The output is a send, uh, sending a mail to the Client whosoever has registered, I'm given the a uh, form, uh, and the tools used are UiPath Orchestrator, uh, UiPath Document Understanding for uh, scanning and uh, retrieving the data from the handwritten forms, and uh, the third thing is UiPath AI Center for training our model, and uh, combining all these above three options with the uh, UiPath Studio. Thank you. Moving on to Rajneesh. Now talking about the process in detail, the our process starts by extracting data from handwritten forms. Using UiPath document understanding. Now these parameters are given to an ML skill activity which has a model trained in UiPath AI Center. The model predicts whether the person is vulnerable to stroke or not. If the prediction comes out to be one, that is yes, he is notified via email and his form is moved to a positive result folder. And on the other hand, if the prediction comes out to be zero, that is uh, no, his form is moved moved to a negative result folder, and his uh, results are also sent via email. Now talking about the as is process, a human would have to collect the survey forms manually. He would have to extract the data and put it in an Excel file or store somewhere else. Then he would have to analyze the possibility of stroke based on previous data, and then he would have to send mails to concerned indiv individuals accordingly. Now talking about the to be process, all these forms can be put in a designated folder. Now using UiPath document understanding, we can extract details from all those forms. And put those details into the into our ML skill using UiPath AI Center. Now the bot will predict whether the person is vulnerable to stroke or not, and will also send email to concerned individuals. Now talking about how this process is beneficial, since we have already seen brain stroke is one of the main reasons of death casualties in all over the world. So if somehow we are able to predict uh, using ML models if a person is vulnerable to stroke or not, it will be very helpful in early treatment of strokes and rebuilding their lives. Also, we can scale up this project by by including certain various other parameters and also doing multiple surveys. So, because we know prevention is better than cure, and a developed nation cannot succeed if our citizens are not healthy. So, this was our presentation. Now, let's move to the demo part. Before moving to the demo, I would like to show you the forms from which we are extracting data. these are some of the forms they have they have the fields of gender age they are also collecting hypertension uh, heart disease their marital status the type of work which they do whether they have done government job or private job or a self employed their residence type that is urban or rural their average glucose glucose level bmi and their smoking status now these were some of the forms i'll also show you the excel sheet the sheet will get populated with all the data which we extract from these forms and will the prediction will also be stored here as ones and zeros now i'll also show you the process in ui path studio now i have used the sequence according to the process diagram which i just now showed the uh, sequence starts by extracting the details storing them in excel file after that those details are passed to an ml skill activity the predictions are made and the predictions are also stored there after that mails are sent to concerned individuals and forms are segregated accordingly now i'll run this process meanwhile our bot is starting 
I would like to show you the project folder. Here I have a folder of scanned forms. Here I have these four forms from which details will be extracted. I also have two other folders, a negative results folder and positive results folder, which are empty as of now. The forms will be segregated based on the results and will be stored here. And also in each form, I have provided my personal mail ID so that reports can be sent there and we can see them here. So the bot has already started. Let's wait for the results. How, how long it takes to run this, Rajnish? Uh, I guess it, it's going to be over soon, so just a couple of seconds. Sure. Meanwhile, talk us about who you guys are, like which batch, what are you doing now? Yeah, so uh, we are from CS background. I am, we, are, we are all in our third years. Uh, we are from CMRIT, CMR Institute of Technology, Bangalore. I got introduced to RPA through by, by being selected as an UI pass student champion uh, six months back. And since then, I've been learning RPA and developing small projects. Our, our process is over, sir. The, all, our, all the forms have been moved away from this folder and they're segregated. So just let's quickly see the Excel file. Uh, as you can see, the details were fetched from the handwritten forms and the predictions were made using the uh, AI model in the UiPath AI Center. As you can see, the first users have got the predictions of zero, that means they are risk-free. And the last two users have got a prediction of once, that means they are vulnerable to stroke. And now let's see the uh, folders. The negative folder has the forms of first two users and the positive results has the forms of uh, the last two users. Also, let's quickly check the mail. As you can see, I've received mails. I've received four mails for the first two users. Uh, it says that they, they have a less risk of stroke and they can keep maintaining their healthy lifestyle. And uh, for the last for the last two users, it says that uh, we, uh, they are in considerable risk of a brain stroke and it is advised that they visit a doctor and undergo, undergo further screening and treatment. So this was our use case. Thank you for listening. And we are very, questions. very, very nice use case, uh, Rajni, Shakshi and Aditya. Before I give you my comments, I have a lot of positives to talk about, but I would invite Steve to uh, share his thoughts on the use case and any queries that you have, Steve. Yeah, I thought this was um, I thought this was very nice. I mean, we had seen one uh, yesterday that was a little similar in terms of uh, predicting a different type of uh, health uh, uh, health health uh, circumstance. Um, I know you were having people questionnaire. The only thing is you might want to add more to this would be uh, if the nature of the questions are such that can be answered very simply, um, you might you might be able to uh, put a uh, chat in front of this or uh, or other types of um, information uh, related to um, uh, other types of information gathered. But, but but I thought this was good. So thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Satish, it's really, really, uh, uh, really good use case. I have, I mean, uh, all working well, right? A uh, couple of things, I mean, uh, could be added more, right, to improve it. You know, uh, make it a more generic use case. One obvious would be, you know, use of human in loop, loop concept, right? You are extracting yeah, sure. the information, uh, extracting the information from handwritten document, and every handwritten it's not as good as that it's shown in the you know uh, exactly. form yes, so yeah so probably you can use uipath action center and other thing i would like to understand is uh, are you guys also using uh, this uh, uh, you know uh, do you understand the concept of storage uipath storage bucket and yeah, uh, you know data yes, services yes. so yes, so probably you can use a couple of those you know features from the uipath to make it more you know robust and uh, can be utilized in a general uh, purpose. Rest all things, I'm, I'm good. Good good use case and good, yeah. Thank you, Satish. Now, before I hand it over to Bhavesh, I would like to ask just one question. How much time did you take to train the model in two things? One, understanding the handwritten document to an accuracy level. Second, you, the, uh, you know, the prediction model. Uh, when it comes to comparisons, uh, the, I would say the prediction was a prediction model was rather easy because I had the data. I just had to work on the data, filter it, and separate it into tests and train, and then train the model in UiPath and set up. Uh, but but when it comes to training the, uh, the document understanding part for handwritten data, 
it was quite tricky <laughs> i had to print uh, i some as i had to print around 50 forms you know just to test each and every possibilities uh, going on and actually the uh, the initial plan was uh, the user comes fulfills in a google form and then the prediction is based out of the uh, details stored through in google form but just for the sake of implementation ocr and uh, implementing document understanding since we have it so we did this uh, i also had a validation step when after each uh, document understanding form is performed but for showing the bigger picture and doing the process in a shorter time i just kept it aside a very bold attempt rashnish bhavesh over to you thank you sir uh, yeah i think uh, uh, i think as uh, steve satish and we were covered most of it i, I think handwritten recognition uh, is is one of the most challenging lots of models out there so i think picking the right one right mix rather no one model will actually serve the purpose i think you'll have to do a lot of those confidence uh yes sir. capturing from different models and 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 do that analysis and figure out which model in in certain situation i can assure you that if i write uh, on your handwritten form none of the models will help because i have the lousiest of the handwriting there but uh, jokes apart uh, I, i think this is an excellent attempt good use case uh, i like uh, kind of the the team with the collaboration there i could see that quite well among yourself that's good keep it up uh, enhance it further knowing that this is kind of most recently started learning i, I would say kudos to you guys uh, again keep it up and and look forward to seeing more advances in the next run then thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much bhavish i will tell you a couple of things which i liked right apart from the technical aspect and everything i liked one thing good uses of fillers when there was the bot starting up you started talking about something right that's one thing very important during the presentation if you to minimize the idle time there right that's one thing i liked about you teamwork very good an interesting take on uses of du plus ai center you guys had no need to actually show us the scan document right there was no need yes. you could have taken that from a chatbot like steve said or you could have uh, had a google form fill in data directly but then that, that's a very very i would say a uh, clever way of saying i know this and i want to show all of this right kudos to you guys thank you so much for your time here rajnish uh, sakshi and aditya uh, all the best Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much.